Today, I want to show you an LS Posed module that will allow you to downgrade applications on Android 12 as well as Android 13. This module is free and open source and only requires you to have LS Posed framework installed for it to work. Now, I have previously uploaded a video here on the channel that showed you how to downgrade an application on Android without needing to have LS Posed installed. However, doing so required you to uninstall the application before you could install the older version. That process actually deletes all of the data for that application, and it is something that some people need to avoid. Thankfully, there's a way around this, but again, it requires our smartphone or tablet to be rooted. You can see that I have version 18.20.34 of the YouTube application installed on my Galaxy S23. If I were to try and downgrade to an older version of YouTube right now, then I'm going to be told that the older version of the app can't be installed because it appears to be invalid. Android has built in this protection to prevent people from using older versions of apps for security purposes. But if you are really intent on downgrading an application or game, then I can show you how it's done. The method we'll be using today requires us to have LS Posed Framework installed. If you're not familiar with how to get LS Posed set up and activated on your smartphone or tablet, then be sure to check the video description below. I will be linking to a dedicated video down there that I have already done in the past, which will walk you through the entire process of how it's done. Now once you have LS Posed Framework activated, then we need to open up the LS Posed Manager application and then tap on the Modules tab down there at the bottom left. From here, we're going to search for the word Downgrade. And you'll see that there are two different modules that you can choose from. Today I will be walking you through how to use the Let Me Downgrade module because it is open source, whereas the X Downgrader module is not. However, if you have a device with Android 11 or earlier installed, then you will want to use the X Downgrader module since Let Me Downgrade only supports Android 12 and Android 13. The steps to get this one working will likely be different from what I show you today, but maybe I can cover that module in a future video. Now if you're not familiar with how to install an LS Posed module, then again, I recommend you check the video description below. In an attempt to prevent this video from being longer than it needs to be, I'll simply link to a dedicated video that I have already done which shows you how to install and activate these modules. After activating the module and rebooting your phone, I always recommend that you come back into the LS Posed Manager application, tap on the Modules tab, and then make sure that the module you just installed and activated has been enabled properly. If you see that it is still grayed out, then that means it is not enabled and you will need to enable it before rebooting your phone again. And even though the module has been installed and it has been enabled and activated properly, you actually can't downgrade anything right now. 
This module includes a quick settings tile that will enable and disable the ability to downgrade an Android application or game. So after the module has been enabled and loaded properly, pull down the quick settings panel and look for the newly added tile. By default, this is going to be disabled and we simply need to tap it to enable the ability to downgrade. Once that is on, now we can proceed with the downgrade process. Remember, I'm on version 18.20.34 of the YouTube application right now. And with that module enabled and the quick settings tile on, we can then sideload the older version just like you would any other APK file on Android. Except this time, instead of being told that the older version cannot be installed because it is invalid, the application will be installed properly and it will downgrade your app or game without losing any of your data. You can see it opens up like normal and when we check the version, we are now on an older version, which is version 18.18.35 that I had previously downloaded. As a side note, I did notice that not all apps downgrade smoothly using this method. Earlier, I tested this module with the PayPal application and it ended up force crashing after the app had been downgraded. It wasn't until I wiped all of the app data for PayPal before the downgraded version would open properly. I can imagine this protection is built into the application itself, or maybe it's just due to how the updated app compares to the older version. Either way, it's something that you should be aware of. I hope this video has helped anyone who has needed to downgrade an Android application or game to an older version without losing any of your data. Let me know in the comment section below if this module worked for you or if you ended up running into any issues trying to use it.